Testing, testing, one, two, three. All right, here we go. Uh, hey everybody from class, welcome, welcome. I am still downloading all the projects, but I thought I would go live while I uh, get them all uploaded. Uh, just to keep things moving. Estoya, how are you doing? So you can hear me, that's great. Uh, I'm having some issues with the sound, but I don't think any of the levels from today have audio anyway. So I think that'll be uh, okay and something I'll have to figure out as we go on. The complications of live streaming are immeasurable. Uh, but for anyone who's not in my class who's just hopping in, we are just playtesting some of the first passes of the Hello Minecraft assignment, and I will go over the rules for that in just a moment. <coughs> Excuse me. Hey, Avery, how's it going? Uh, I'm going to go through the... Um, going through really quick to download all these. Anyone that said they would like my level played on Twitter, that is what we're going to do. Got one, two, Ansley Cora, how's it going? Got three. Four. <clears throat> Five. Six. All right, looks like we have, oops, seven. Seven levels. Yes, uh, I do see yours. I actually just grabbed it. <clears throat> That's almost it. Okay. So we have all of the ones we're gonna play. I am going to go through and anonymize them really fast. Uh, because on Twitch, we don't, share, we don't share student names as much as possible. Was, thank you so much for the redeeming hydrate. Good idea to keep hydrated. Estoya, yeah, I'll do my best to play yours first. Show up. Second. Have sound. Yeah, we, well, what do you know? My sound works now. Uh, good news, everybody. I don't think we have sound uh, in these levels, but we do have sound working. This will be great for future prospects. Okay, so I am not seeing my downloads. What the heck? What the heck? My computer's having a uh, little bit of a heart attack. All right, I'm going to do a quick restart on this one. And then we'll get going, everybody. A little bit of technical difficulties, but Astoya, yeah, I'm happy to play yours first, my friend. 
no problem there. Got to get this this going. Uh, this is one of those those fun technical issues. This is why I'm like, got to get those comments in there fast because it takes time to to get this up and ready for future future classes. Uh, we won't be in as big a rush. I mean, this class ended in 10 minutes. It was kind of the first day doing the play testing, so everything kind of takes a little bit longer uh, to get everything kind of uh, everybody used to to the way we're running the class. But then after a couple of weeks, everything kind of works much more efficiently. It should be a lot better. I'm just going to kick a uh, restart on this. It's for some reason it's not recognizing my download. We'll get started here. <clears throat> Puzz, it's great to see you out here. I couldn't have said it any better. Thank you. It's amazing to see all the support. It's truly, truly. Sorry about that. Check in now. Sure. All right. We're going to get started. I promise. I promise. Uh, everybody excited for their location studies? Was everybody able to decide on a location or are there any teams that are still like trying to, uh, trying to figure it out? All right, they have a location picked. Is it a local or are you, you going, uh, Exotic. Tay just says they're good with the location. Fantastic. I'm glad to hear it. Yeah, um, I was popping in and out of all the uh, the breakout rooms. And it's a, a lot of really good discussions going on. It's one of the things I love. I, lo I have a love-hate relationship with breakout rooms in Zoom. Um, they're good when they work, uh, especially for like the discussion, discussing things. A lot of really cool discussions happen in there that would never happen uh, in the main channel of lectures. Cross340 says they managed to pick one in the last 30 seconds. That works. My, com my other PC, my gaming PC, is still restarting. These are the tech problems we have with Zoom as well. Sir Carrick says, yeah, really beautiful place with interesting architecture. That is fun. A lot of good inspiration to, to build your level from. All right, here we go. See if this will work for us this time. Here we go. Story says local. It's actually close to you. Yeah, it's good. it's always nice if they're they're convenient location to. It's helpful. Okay, there are all my downloads. Bada bing, bada boom. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right. We are just about ready. Let's see, I can see happening and we have sound and everything I need some chill music I need some animations going on I need something I need something to like segue the class in in these little prep monuments right here
make your own beatbox music. Maybe I should do a Zoom link and uh, have one of my students come in and do like uh, beatbox beatbox music behind me. What do you? Getting there. We're getting there. Unzipping my folders. It's going to take just a second here. Uh, by the way, class ends in two minutes, technically. So I don't want to feel like anyone's forced to be here. This is uh, this now has become optional uh, for the class, but I definitely want to check out uh, these levels of students who check them out. Uh, but it does take time. It takes a few minutes to hurry and organize all the levels, uh, put them in folders, then unzip them all. Um, so usually I like to uh, have class end soon enough um, that I can kind of have all this stuff updated even before I go live. But it's a process. There's, it's, it takes a little bit of uh, prep to be able to... So give me just a moment. I will have to unpack. Two of seven. Two of seven uh, levels have been unzipped. Just to give you guys an update on what's going on. Three of seven levels have been unzipped. Perfect. Four of seven levels are being unzipped. Uh, this will be a, this will be all set. So tomorrow, by the way, everybody, tomorrow I will be playing um, capstone games too. If any, if any of you want to see what the undergrad capstone uh, classes are working on, I'll only be doing four of them uh, during class tomorrow. I'll be playing with Roger and Fernando, and then members of those team will be uh, watching as well. But that should be a lot of fun. Okay, so five of six or five of seven. Alexic PL, how are you doing, my friend? Belly of the Beast, that sounds like a cool. And seven of seven, oh my goodness, we're, we're getting done. So, so last year, what we did is we actually had all the students make their levels on Perforce and they had a door and we, I could just, uh, had my TA make me one build and I was able to play all 30 levels, like one right after another. We're going to be doing that for the location study, which is going to be awesome. Okay. Let me, um, share my screen now. Cause I think we're ready to go. I think we are, we are so ready to go. It's not even funny. Little throat clear really quick. Okay, hang, hide that. Hide some of my text. There we go. Okay, we are ready to go. Is everybody ready? Olexic PL, I'm sorry to hear you're sick. Here we go. So we are gonna play some of the Minecraft, Hello Minecraft first pass levels from my uh, level design course at the University of Utah. Uh, so this is the introductory assignment that I give on day one. And so essentially I give the students a cube to create a level with. And the only rule is you have to use flat textures. You can't rotate that cube or scale it. 
And basically, after that, all uh, all bets are off. They can kind of make be as creative as they want with it. Um, the idea with this is that it's just a way for you to, for students to get used to um, navigating in Unreal. So it's the, the idea is it's not a technical challenge. It's more of a creative, like essentially Minecraft, just building stuff out. So we're going to start out with this first level. Um, and uh, feel free to give any thoughts. I usually use the think aloud method where I just play and uh, say what I'm thinking. Uh, where there are no defined uh, requirements for this level, they can kind of take it however they want. I'm going to go access. Here we go, first level. All right, they're using the, the female mannequin. I actually love that there's a difference here. Uh, but this is the first one. So we have jump, we have movement. <clears throat> I'm not going to lie, it's a nice touch to use the... The, the female mannequin um, in there. It's nice to see something something different than the normal uh, Unreal mannequin. Uh, this is cool. So it's a nice little room. Uh, jump height looks good. Uh, very, very flat. These tree block outs are fantastic. Uh, we're just going to run around here. Nice little uh, study here. The grass is nice. Uh, I like that they sped up the player too. So they can kind of zip through here a little bit quicker. Uh, little buildings to oh, this is the that's the problem with these these blockets making steps cool little translucent window pieces like I say I wish I had some background music I'm tempted to jump into the water nice little nice little study here Got the grass. There's this this edifice up here. I want to know what it is. Kind of just created off just standing on one pillar. How do I get up there? Nice nice use of God rays. Is there a way to get up there? This is the big question from a level design standpoint. You've got that one landmark right here. That's where my primary interest is, and I want to know how to get up there. Oh, but then there's this section over here too. Am I? That's the question. Am I supposed to get up there? It's definitely where I'm drawn to. To which Astoria says, sadly not, I never finished the building. Uh, this is awesome though. For the, for what this assignment is, this is perfect. I love the speed that I can run around. Uh, really cool uh, cloud. The clouds are fantastic too. I just barely noticed and appreciated those. So now I'm almost wondering like if if there's a way to like bring some of those clouds down in between that tree and that area uh would be pretty cool. And and not necessary for this assignment. Like I said, this is just a creative outlet assignment. So if you wanted to just create a Taj Mahal or a uh recreate the Star Trek Enterprise, really it's up to you. So for all for all intents and purposes, this is a fantastic first pass in of this assignment. You've got all these building blocks. I wouldn't mind being enclosed a little bit more if you want if if you're looking for actual like the feedback feedback, like like obviously these are kind of uh these houses are hovering over nothing. Um how could you enclose this space maybe with some mountains in the background? Um some something to kind of lock it into the world and give you this feeling that this feeling that the world would be larger than it actually is. And now my biggest question is, I'm drawn like a fly to this landmark, this building up there. What's the secret behind it? That's what I wanna know. A uh, really good job. So we're gonna move on to the next level. Very cool. So we're gonna go through these pretty quick today because the uh, class is technically ended. And we will continue to move on. Awesome work. We use the old Alt F4 power button. We're gonna move on to level number two here. If anyone has any comments or anything they'd like to say in the chat, please feel free to do so. All right, this is called Cube, this level. All right, here we go. Cube, this is cool. Oh, what's happening? Something's happening. I think I might be crashing. I crashed. It's crashed. My cube level crashed. Let's try it again. 
Careful, careful. Let's not move yet. Okay. Second time was a charm. This is not, it looked like the, looks like the cubes may have scaled a little bit. It's really hard to tell. So I'm in this cube room and now I think there's a little bit of a platforming that I need to do. Kind of hugging these back walls. Let's see if I can make this jump. I can. So we're going to try and, uh, we're going to try and break out of this room. I think, if we can, I can make that jump. Yes, I can. Can and I will. Do this. All right. Feeling pretty good about myself. Except I don't know. This is the trick. Oh, snap. I did it. Okay. And then there's a big hole right there. Uh, this is cool. Like I say, there's no rules for this. Uh, this level. We're building these levels. Other than as you're watching me play, am I playing the way that the design, uh, the way that you intended it to be played? Am I doing what you wanted? I'm trying to see if there's any, well, there's some platforms off to the sides here. Oh no. Okay. So I could have gone down through the hole and then up the sides, I think was the, the idea uh, behind that one. You know, there's something pretty. There's just something pretty about like even a nice gray box with these these uniform patterns and designs. So let's try this. Kind of have to jump around the edges. So I think the idea was that you could land on one of these sides. There we go. Then the platforming kind of opens up. Wee, not too bad. Uh, nicely designed. So one of the issues the platformers do all the time is they would like say use just one of these cubes, um, but I really appreciate that you used uh, sections of four to make nice landing points. So it's not as like technical. Always a nice touch. Nice, nice. Let's see if I can make it back up to the other spot. And I think I've I think I've made it through the entirety of this level. I think we did it. This was that section here. Nice. Very cool. Nice work. I dig it. Uh, maybe you could add, I mean, you could play around with adding some colors. Um, um, what says less precision required? Exactly. But uh, anything you can think of to add to this one to like kind of create that little narrative that you're in a specific place is doable, not necessary. This assignment is just about having fun. And so I think that this serves that perfect uh, purpose for sure. All right, here we go. On to level number three. <clears throat> so for anyone watching, once again, the rule was that you could not, uh, you were not supposed to use uh, texture maps other than flat textures you're not supposed to rotate and scale um, but uh, I think that some of those rules were broken I'm excited to see this this floor pattern looks awesome uh, by the way so here's the start let's do this um, they these are trippy a trippy use of colors um, here's where they've they've intersected those and and spun them around at a center and created some circles out of those cubes. That's pretty cool. And these are what I'm talking about with like tricky platforming when you have to just jump on one single uh, block and it makes life hard, but not impossible, right? Very cool space. Okay, let's do this. I love the use of colors here to like uh, direct, direct the eyes through here. And those uh, emissive blocks are, oh no, oh no, I fell and died. I thought I could just walk. Okay, let's, now we have to start it again. All right, let's try this again. That stuff over there, those, that's, that's the, that's what I want to get to. What is going on? I've heard those are still, those circles, those uh, halos are still made with just the single cube. So technically they didn't break the rule as far as using different objects, but I'm very curious about how they created those. Let's 
go take a look. Pretty sure they used the uh, the level design assistant. Okay, so here's here's the problem. There we go. Make it through there. A really cool use of color in here. Here's some stairs leading down into the abyss. Once again, those uh, these cubes with the emissive light on it just really add a lot of uh, color and flavor. Now this is wild. Look at this. This is wild. Really cool, got in this rainbow road type of a feel with those sillars. This is like really novel shapes, kind of gateways me through here. And, and it's amazing how, what a big effect just walking through like these cool monumental pieces makes uh, on this path. So this is the main path I'm walking through, but, they, but I have this feeling going through here, especially feels like I'm doing something I'm supposed to. Really cool level. This almost looked like a face over here. These, I think, are scaled at weird directions that are trying to make me continue to jump off the collision. And finally, to this little volcano-esque uh, section. And finally, I guess this is the end. The finish. Uh, 3 Mentor says, lots of cubes. Where's the end gone? Oh, I can't get back up there. Uh, no end gone's allowed, 3D Mentor. A really cool level. So I'm excited to see what you do with this uh, come uh, class, if you are you plan on continuing to tweak this. Uh, but really, really cool exploration. Um, the, the halo effect actually makes it feel more like spacey, like sci-fi, which is pretty cool. All right, we'll move on. Big shout out to 3D Mentor. <clears throat> 3D Mentor says, I like the light, light bridge in the caves. Yeah, they were very effective. Uh, that's what I was talking about. Like, it's not so much the path that you have to walk on, but that ambiance, that feeling you get around it, right? Pretty cool. All right, here we go. Level number four. I don't crash again, apparently, on a moment. Oh, uh, so the student on the last one messaged me and said, and you, you feel free to message that in the uh, comments too, is that they didn't use a texture map. That was just a noise attribute in the material uh, that scrolled. Um, I, my computer is having issues, guys. It just reset on me. I'm having some computer issues today. I think I need to get this all fixed before uh, capstone tomorrow. So we're gonna take a brief intermission. I think we're on the fourth level here. Um, while, we're, while we're just chatting, waiting for things to load back up. Uh, like I said, big shout out to Checkpoint Professor. 3D Mentor is upset that there were no stream announcements on Twitter or Slack. Top secret stream. Yeah, these are, these, these are, these are for, uh, what is it? special eyes only I need to get back on I'm not as I'm not as good at the social media as 3D mentor All right we'll see if this won't uh refresh now Seriously I think we're having some computer issues Come on, computer, and do it. I know, look at all these fancy emotes that a 3D mentor. All right. It can't handle the cubes, says Sekarek. Okay, so here's the deal. Okay, maybe it's gonna restart. I I need to give my my uh, gaming PC some love tonight. I think and uh, make sure that it's running properly. 
especially before tomorrow because I have I have all those capstone games to play. Uh, for anyone who's in my level design course and you're still sticking around, it, this it's it's post class time now, so this is supplemental. So I'm trying to get some supplemental levels. I do want to play through the last uh, four though, if at all possible. Sucker X says can't handle all the cubes. Apparently there were a lot of cubes in these levels. Yeah. Come on. Um, <clears throat> three mentor. We're gonna stream Capstone at Capstone time, uh, two o'clock. All right, here we go. Come on, buddy. Here we go. You're uh, if I'm not mistaken, you're you you teach a class during that time, right? Three D mentor. I don't even have all interesting. I'm just noticing I don't even have all, any of my uh, stream elements or anything on. Holy smoke, start up computer. Dude, Mentor says no, I was kicked out of Capstone, so I'm. Free. Um, I was hoping you would stream. Might have to lurk and see what up. My guess is the exact same as when you left it last semester. All right. Oh my goodness. Okay. Tell you what, this is just too painful. Okay, here we go. You'll make a mega team emote? I want it. Okay, so I think we played this one. Here we go. Uh, not sure anyone's still sticking around, but we're going to do this. We're going to do this. I think we're back in business. So here we go. Level number four. Come on, buddy. Steam is trying to update itself. Just stop Steam. Are we ready? Are we ready to complete? I don't want to have to come back to this. We want to just complete it. Minecraft on. Are you going to give me the mega team emote? All right. Three mentors here. Studio Mentor, you don't have any classes today, my friend? No Wednesday courses? Allow access. Let's do this. I knew it. I, I should have ended, but I probably should have just ended. Come on, buddy. Well, it says three mentor is just rubbing it in that he has those fancy animated emotes. Dude, mentor says he's just getting ready. Texturing one at 3.30 and texturing two at 7.15. And those are all on Twitch, right? Okay, are we going? I think I, think I have some issues, my friends. I think we have issues. All this hype for PC issues. Oh, look at this. Okay, here we go. This is cool. It looks like they stretched some of the cubes. It's cool. 
Oh, this is nice. Okay. Okay, we've got a little city here. That looks like a little monument here. Interesting use of the uh, cubes. Interesting. Okay. I like the little trees here over on the side. Where's it flame stop stopping by? This little doorway. The doorway's a little bit narrow. Kind of ping pong between it. And then the jump height here. You always want to have ceiling heights. So you're not bonking your head. Kind of looks like if I fall down, there's no way out, but we're gonna anyway. So yes, soft lock. This is what you call soft lock city. I've now soft locked myself, gated myself, and I'm stuck. So <laughs> already we're gonna we're gonna start over. We can get it playing again. We'll open her again. Here we go. All right. So I am directed towards this mountain over here in the back. It's got some nice shapes to it. Uh, the trees, the building. Nice use of pathing here. These little recessed uh, stones really lead you to this building. But once again, I think these uh, little crosses tell you you're going to die if you go that way. You're going to fall into a hole, never recover out of it. Cool shape language on these. If I hop up them, if there's any... A reward here other than a cool vantage point to check out the whole structure this is a is this is this like zelda this kind of has like a original zelda kind of feel to it extra blocks over there in the corner this is a little tombstone area and you go into this one no doorways compel me but i cannot trim All right, really cool little block out. Love to hear any uh, feedback in the chat. It's got a nice feel to it. I think, I think once again, um, if you can find a way to, one of the cool things with anything like this where you're kind of boxed in with this rectangular shape uh, makes you feel really compressed. Unless you're going for a feel like uh, the original Zelda where it's very boxy and linear. linear. Um, but if you can find any ways to to zigzag those outer boundaries and create some some hierarchy between them, maybe put some trees around the edge, it gives you a feeling of uh, being uh, enveloped without making it feel like there's nothing else behind it. I think it's always it's always fun to give this idea um, that the world has more uh, to offer outside of what you can physically walk around without actually having to build that out. Um, but overall, this is really cool. All right, let's move on. Uh, level number five. This is called the belly of the beast. How access. All right, here we are in the belly of the beast. The lighting is fantastic. Okay, so you're we're pointing us in the, the right direction. There's nothing on this way. Uh, clouds in the background are a nice touch. Very moody, very dark. Uh, the belly of the beast. All right, so I can see this is the giant Mao opening up. And if you look there, there's the beast itself. This is awesome. The, the ambient fire within the belly of the beast, the forked tongue. Nice touch. Really cool. So I'm assuming this uh, the student used the level design assistant on this. Otherwise, if you placed all these by hand, freaking awesome work too. Really cool design. I like how the blocks are forming kind of a scale type of look down in the throat. I'm assuming we're supposed to take a leap. A leap of faith. So we're going to do it. We're going to jump down to the belly of the beast. Oh, snap. Had some ladders kind of working its way up. The use of colors is fantastic. And fall a little bit further. Oh, we are in the no guts, no glory section of this belly. Uh, we're going to use the light to kind of indicate maybe this is the way I'm supposed to go. Uh, pathing works out really well. Here's another opening here. Openings attract. And... <laughs> 
Here is the, there's the goal right there. I like it, the MacGuffin. Easy to see. Uh, and then you've got all this acidic um, belly juice that you have to make your way through. Nicely done uh, section of platforming here to lead you around the belly. It's like there are a couple precision jumps I could have made. Oh no, almost fell off. I love the idea that your 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 Unreal character would melt. Let's do this. Let's make it. Really nicely done. Okay. And we made it to the finale. Awesome job. All right, number six. And away we go. Back in business for some weird phantom restart. All right. Oh, this is nice. Look at this. You've got the water pushing up and down on this little uh, Minecraft island. It's floating here in the center. Nice use of trees. Uh, the pastels are really nice, these colors. And you've got some blinking cubes over there. That's awesome. That is cool. That looks like interesting. It's almost like a little floating person. Nice little building here. Some stairs. We're going to go up the single single cube stairs here. A little bit head bumpy there. It's always hard to make like stairs that work very well with uh, the cubes. You always want to make sure if you ever have to jump somewhere that's intended that you're not bashing your head. But it's really tough to get that to work right with the cube. Sure. All right. So here is no way to get up higher, I'm assuming. Oh, I fell. I fell. Okay. I want to get over to this side now. I'm trying to figure out what this is. This is cool, though. Oh, it's a, like a little fire. I'm going to uh, smoke fire. Uh, this is awesome. And there's some more of those blinking smoke up top. So is there a way up? That's my question. <clears throat> it's a crazy little island. That's what we need to find. Aim to find out. Can you get up higher? Beautiful job on this. <clears throat> little bridge. Broken bridge. Uh, this is what I'm talking about. This is like really fun, really creative. Doesn't take itself too seriously. Like this is a this is an A project for the Minecraft. I don't think I can get up though. I want to find a way up, but I don't think there is. Unless I can get up. Wait. Oh, I missed it. Dang it. How did I miss that? Oh, that I should. I should be upset with myself. How did I not notice there are more stairs? Yunt says there is a way to the top. Of course, the stairs. This is awesome. lights floating by nice views up here one more set of stairs As this building gets more and more dilapidated this is the thing sometimes i miss the most obvious things but if i miss it that means occasionally uh, others will this is cool oh i can't make that no I like it. I should. Ha I think you should have some MacGuffin. If this were one of the levels where you just made it to the next one, like having a doorway here to get into the section would be cool. This is interesting. Whenever I go in down into the, the cubes, renderer has an issue. Awesome. Nice work. All right. Level number seven, the final level. The one that uh, 3D Mentor has been waiting his whole life for. 
This is called Minecraft. Start. The green room. This is called the green room. Can I walk through this? Ooh, waterfall. Here we go. Uh, for anyone watching, the rule of this assignment was you can only use this this beveled cube to build out, create your levels. The idea is just to have fun uh, create, oh crap, what is this? Just have fun just moving cubes around and, and learning how to uh, create things in Unreal Engine. And uh, I don't know, in the future, should I make a rule that no overlapping geometry? <laughs> That looks really cool. So they've under they've overlapped all these cubes and it's creating a really psychedelic effect. But look at this. Look at this work of art. Holy smokes. I've never seen anything like it. It's the the cosmic tube. Wow, that was really neat. And then you fall off into the finish. I see the finish. That is real cool. That was a cool moment. The finish is over there. So this is the tricky legwork. This is the maze now. How do I get over to that finish line? I think I can do this and this. Come on. Yes. I think I can make that. I think I can make this jump. And we've completed it. Very well done. That cube, I'm, wa I'm wondering what you could do with that, that cube, or sorry, that, uh, that cylinder, that massive cylinder thing uh, going forward. So, so feedback is, is not super easy at this point when things are kind of like really abstract. It's, it's much more difficult to give level design feedback on abstract environment pieces than some that are trying to, to uh, create like a real world type environment. Um, because when you have just floating pathways and platforms, I'm not sure how to ground that in reality. And so one of the big things, uh, advice I have for anyone is finding a way to, uh, whenever you have anything that's floaty, uh, the biggest point of advice is how can you ground that uh, to make it feel like it's more grounded in reality and less just paths for a player to walk on and more like this experience. And I think the the big multicolored tube does a good job of that because it almost it gives you this impression that you're traveling you're transporting yourself uh, through kind of time and space. Uh, roller, roller coasters will do that a lot. If you've ever been to Space Mountain in Disneyland, they, they do something similar where they're sending you through this lit tube. And the idea is they're kind of shooting you through kind of like a wormhole. It's kind of the idea with that. So really well done on this. Plus says just use bolts to attach it to the background like a stage play. There you go. Well, that starts to answer questions at least, you know, so that works. A really good job, everybody. Sorry about all the uh, technical issues. We'll get those things ironed out as we go forward. Um, but uh, really nice work. I'm excited. At the end of class next week, we'll be playing the finished versions of these, um, checking out what my students have done with the first Minecraft, Minecraft project. Then we'll be going into more Meteor. Uh, level design projects as the uh, class goes on. War Frenzy, you're so welcome. Everybody, we will check you out soon. Everyone have an awesome day and we'll chat with you later.